what's going on guys i had a uh, proper introduction for this video but um i edited the video and i tried to upload it to youtube and of course um it wasn't blocked worldwide but it was blocked in most countries so because i don't want to go through that process again as you guys know i'm gonna try but if i you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna go through all week trying to cut up cut up cut up cut up and trying to upload stuff to youtube i just don't have that kind of time okay so um the link is going to be on this video um so all you have to do is just go watch the movie just like always just like the format i've been doing all this time and then just come back here for the review okay because the review is not on the google drive the review is going to be here attached to this video so just like before just like how i've been doing any of my videos you can go watch the movie on the google drive then come back here for the review go enjoy the movie man i had a lot to say plus this is one of the the greatest movies um, that I've watched live action or animated, you know what I mean? So I will see you guys when you come back. All right. Make sure you come back and check out the review. I appreciate it. See you guys then. Okay, so this is my official review for Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name in English. And I had to post an initial, like, reaction to the movie right after it finished to YouTube. Hope you guys have seen that by now. It was, I had to. And that's the first time I probably have done something like that where something that I watched impressed me so much, I had to post an initial reaction in video format i've done it on the community tab before but in video format bruh i had to i had to hope you guys watched that and enjoyed my initial reaction now this is the official review of kimi no nawa if i'm saying that wrong it is what it is i don't speak japanese there might be some i might be I'm pronouncing it like it's English, but it's, you, you know what I'm saying? It could be there's some accented words there. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. But in any case, um, your name is definitely, most definitely, in my top five movies of all time, live action or anime. And I'll say this to get you guys to understand what I just experienced. So let's talk about the movie a little bit, and then this is definitely off the bat. I don't, you don't have to wait. This is a 10 out of 10 movie. If you have not seen the movie, okay? If you have not seen the movie, okay? I suggest you watch it without me talking over it. I, I, I really hope that you guys do that. As I said before, um, as soon as I buy this movie i'm gonna come on here and show you guys that i bought this movie it was very obvious that it wasn't a bought copy of the movie that i was reacted to as i said before um i i download most of the stuff that i react to i download them to have them on my computer so i don't have to be doing them through the streaming service because that stuff can buffer and all of this other stuff okay so i usually download what i watch i'm not afraid to tell you guys that because most of the stuff that I do have, that I do um, react to, I end up buying them anyways. You get what I'm saying? Or I'm already paying for the subscription service. But I still download the stuff just so I don't have that issue as in stuff buffering on me or, you know, quality drop while I'm watching and all of that other stuff. I'm trying to avoid all of that. It's the only reason why I download my stuff. Listen, because most of this stuff I, I, I do have. Like, I've already bought... I'm, I'm, I really don't feel like getting up now to go all the way out to the living room to go get that stuff out of the the um the thing that I have my my collection in of I actually just ordered the the DVD set for The Walking Dead um Sons of Anarchy all of that stuff I just ordered all of that stuff they're taking their time getting here I don't know why they take that long I'm spending a lot of money just to have this stuff legitimately okay i'm having them having this stuff if i'm enjoying it like just like oh i got the game of thrones i had game of thrones um i bought game of thrones the complete set um all the seasons and stuff like that 
and that stuff costs a lot of money but to support the creators and stuff like that during because i know that i'm doing reactions and stuff like that i do that in the aftermath because i know that most of the stuff that i that i react to on the channel um i download them just to have them you get what i'm saying i download them whether i have the service um like the netflix and stuff like that where i can download straight from netflix download straight from youtube download straight from from whatever streaming service i'm whatever it is <laughs> you get what i'm saying i find a way to download stuff from them so i can have them on my computer so i don't have that issue okay so there i'm telling you guys i'm, I'm putting it out here okay so um when it comes on to this movie and the premise the plot the plot of this movie is absolutely brilliant it is brilliant it is well done i've never seen anything like it i've never seen anything close close um, um maybe that's just me maybe you guys have seen something that's close to this plot of uh, and this is the to, to, to my knowledge this is a synopsis of the movie two people um connected through time itself the, the the time is the time is the connection you get what i'm saying they're connected through time they're like three years apart one of them actually died you get what i'm saying one of them actually died and their connection through time they were switching bodies and they fell in love through living each other's lives didn't even know that that incident happened to the to 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 one of them didn't know that it was going to happen they got a second chance to to basically fix that problem bunch of people actually ended up dying just the same but in the end she was saved right and they actually met but they still didn't remember each name but time is the connection you get what I'm saying? Because time connected them, they actually found each other in real life and they already had a connection. It's a beautiful love story and I've never seen anything like it. I And I have watched a lot of romantic movies. I've watched all the, all the good chick flicks that, uh, that goes down as legendary chick flicks. I have watched them, my friend. I have watched them. I love a good you know something that warms the heart now when you're talking about shows tv shows like this is us i can't watch this is us because it's just sad it's there's no happy ending in that show you watch that show you want to cry every single episode i cannot watch that show i watched two episodes i was done i was like i can't be crying every week like no no <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And the only reason why I started to watch This Is Us is because of Mandy Moore. Mandy Moore is one of my favorite actresses of all time. I have a huge crush on that girl. Even though she's married now, I've, I had a huge crush on her. And I still f feel like if she came and she was like, yo, we could do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> even though that's like never going to happen. You know what I mean? If she came by and was like, yo, we could do this, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> I would probably jump at the opportunity. Now, does that say a lot about my relationship? It probably does. <laughs> it probably does. But at the end of the day, I'm just I'm just joking, guys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not that type. I think, I don't know. I think me and her is at, like, around the same age. I'm not sure. But that's the only reason why I started to watch This Is Us because I, as an actress, she's actually really impressive. She and she sings, she does theater, she does, she has all these accolades to her name and stuff like that. So I really appreciate her for who she is as an actress. And of course, you guys know, A Walk to Remember is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, so she's definitely up there in the, in the upper echelons for me when it comes on to acting because she did such a beautiful job in that movie um you know what i'm saying and every time i watch that movie i i cry no matter what no matter how many times i've seen that movie every time i see it and it was just by happenstance too that i actually saw that movie you know what i mean it was just by happenstance that movie was just on the tv one day and i just decided to watch it and then i ended up buying the dvd and all of this other stuff like back in the day you know what i mean so i'm a huge supporter when it comes on to, to to this kind of stuff like 
I don't think men should be so hard and tough that they can't watch a romantic movie. I think one of the things that, you know, goes on in life where men can't be vulnerable in, in, in most situations is so, so sad. You get what I'm saying? That I can't show you, you know, my soft side, not my feminine side, my soft side, okay? You might look at that and say, oh, you're showing off your feminine side. Why is that feminine? Because I'm showing emotions. You get what I'm saying? Why is it considered feminine to show emotions? That's absolutely ridiculous that you that society put that kind of stigma on men showing emotions. Oh, that's your feminine side. No, no, hell no, it's not my feminine side. I'm still a man. I'm still a man. And men have emotions too. So when it comes on to um, this movie and how I saw it and when I was reacting to it, it almost brought me to tears a couple of times because... You know, I'm a person, I love love. I love love people, and I love to see others fall in love. For some reason, I just love to see others um, fall in love, even though it's so short and so far in between these days when people are truly in love. And to see a meeting like this, to see um, something so precious like this happen, it just absolutely blows me away when I see stuff like this, because it's like somebody can write a beautiful story like this. And some people in real life may not have a beautiful story like this, but it's still true love. You know what I'm saying? Most people who are in true love, believe it, believe it or not, do, they don't have a dope ass story to tell you about how they met. They don't have it. You get what I'm saying? Some of the times it's just, hey, we met at a bar. You know what I'm saying? It happens. You know what I mean? It, it's not always going to be like this, but this is it's just it's just playing on that 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 feels, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not afraid to feel. You know what I mean? I know when to put on the hard persona of mine that I should have. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like I know how to put I know how to put that on. I know when to put that on because that's also a part of my personality as a male, right? But at the same time, I if I want to show emotions, if I want to cry, I'm going to cry. You guys have seen it multiple times on this channel. If I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry. You get what I'm saying? Most sometimes I do I do hold it back. You know, sometimes I do hold it back because you know what I'm saying? As I said, the stigma behind it when people see you cry and when people you know what I'm saying? When people see men cry, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you a bitch for that. You know what I'm saying? Like I've heard people, I've heard people on YouTube, people that I'm subscribed to on YouTube talk about how they don't watch, they don't watch anime to, to get no feels and, and all of this other stuff. You, nigga, you trying to be hard. But at the end of the day, you can't tell me that you ain't feel that shit when Hinata told Naruto, I love you. You're trying to tell me that you don't feel none of that. You don't feel that knowing the history between these two people. Knowing, you get what I'm trying to say? Knowing the history between those people watching that anime. Are you going to tell me that you didn't feel no type of way when what happened to Ace in One Piece? You're going to tell me you don't feel nothing. That's what you're trying to tell me. Hmm? You watch this and you you just so hard. You, you you know what I'm saying? And I see a lot of them react to stuff and they joke it off. They joke it off. And I see a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys. I'm talking about men in general. Because and and it's all because of the stigma. They don't want to show emotion because they think, oh, their audience is gonna think they're a bitch and stuff. And I've seen guys, you know, they're hard, they're hard. They they watching Naruto and they pretending to be hard, laughing off a lot of stuff. But trust me, man, there's some moments in Naruto. You know what I'm saying? Like Naruto meeting his dad for the first time. Naruto meeting his mom for the first time. Um, Naruto and Kurama finally getting along. Bruh, those moments? Those mo- Bruh. Can you really hold back tears? When Naruto find out about Jiraiya? Can you hold back tears? You a G, cuh. You a G. You know what I'm saying? Well, nah, you're not really a G. You're a pretender, really. <laughs> but in any case, um, yeah, man, this movie is so comprehensively done. The story is awesome. It's very easy to follow um, after the fact. After the fact, probably about an hour into the movie, the movie starts kind of like 
giving you what you need, what you've been hoping for. At first, it's very, you know what I'm saying, a little bit confusing to follow and find out what's really going on until they actually show you what's going on. I like when I like when shows do that. I love when anything does that because it has you thinking, and it, but it's still grabbing you with what's going on. Now, if you lose me in the first five minutes of the show, even though I'm confused and you're still not showing me anything on screen that's interests me, now that's just not going to be a good movie. And and sometimes people will tell you, oh, just give it a chance. No, it's a movie. It's not a TV show. It's not an anime. It's not an episodic thing. You're supposed to be able to grab me in the first five to ten minutes of it. Show me something that's going to be like, I want to know what happened there. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to wait for another hour or hour and 30 minutes to see what happens there. That's what a movie is supposed to do. If I'm watching your movie for 15 minutes to 30 minutes and I don't know what's going on and nothing is on the screen that's giving me any hints and it's just slow and boring, I already know it's going to be a bad movie. I already know that. So when it comes on to what they did here, they did an excellent job. As I said, man, I've, I've, I felt so immersed into the story. I went into this to with the with the goal of doing a lot of commentary and talking and stuff and stuff like that but after like an hour maybe an hour hour or so into the movie i just couldn't talk anymore because i just wanted to know i just i just i, I was just so intrigued big ass smile on my face and stuff like that because the story just grips you so much you just want to know you know what i'm saying you just want to know you know what i mean so oh my god so much to talk about in this movie the animation was excellent but it wasn't the it wasn't the crux of the movie to concentrate on the 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 animation so much but it was top notch so let's talk about the sun the sound design the sound design was excellent some of the best osts i've ever heard um they know they knew when to play like a song and when to just have music just you know instrumentals playing in the background so that was excellently done it kind of brings the immersion brings you in on the immersion a lot more so i really do appreciate them for picking the right song picking the right sounds to hit on those hard strings you know what i mean um so they did that very well the story between these two people fall, falling in love, I thought he actually wrote his name. That almost, <laughs> that almost broke me. <laughs> that almost broke me, man. When she opened up her arms and it said, I love you, I was, bruh, Bro, let me tell you something, man. Romance, romance, man. It's one of the things that's missing in our society today because all people want to do is cheat. <laughs> they don't want to love anymore. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to love and endure what love is. They just want to cheat. You know what I mean? So it's just so lost on us that romance is lost. You know, chivalry is, you know, people say chivalry is dead. I, and really, chivalry is not really dead. It's just that it's not accepted anymore. It's not it's not acceptable anymore because women are so quote unquote strong. So <laughs> and I say quote unquote because that's the excuse. That's what they tell you now is that, oh, they're so strong. They can do everything themselves. I was like, OK, it's not like I was trying to say you can't do nothing by yourself. Why I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this um, for you because I appreciate you. I appreciate you because I'm a king and you're a queen. I appreciate you. I'm not trying to do this for you because I think you can't do it yourself but that's always a thing so I'm like okay you know what I mean but for me it's just like you know when we say we want to be with like a traditional woman and stuff like that those are the things that come out right those are the things that we talk about um, that we want a traditional woman not necessarily that Oh, you got to cook clean and, cl you know what I'm saying, cook clean, wash clothes and all of this other stuff and iron my clothes and all that. All that stuff is appreciative, you know what I'm saying, because the thing about it is that what they don't understand is that a man will do that for you too. A man will clean when he needs to. A man will cook when he needs to. I'm talking about a real man. A man will cook when he needs to. He's not going to put that burden solely on you. You get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you might end up doing it most of the time, but there's nothing wrong with that 
understanding roles. You get what I'm saying? When it comes on to relationships, it's very important, even though we, you know, we think that these subjects are taboo to talk about. I'm not afraid to talk about them because it's important. It's one of the reasons why we have so many broken families in America today. It's one of the reasons is because these things are not defined anymore. Everything is just so up in the air and everybody's like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, but, but I don't want to do that. Well, okay. You can be by yourself forever. <laughs> and I think that's how it should be, but that's how it is. You know what I mean? Um, that pretty much what I, those two sentences just, why am I contradicting myself? <laughs> Anyways, I had so much fun watching this movie and you could tell that I really enjoyed this movie. It's a one of a kind movie. There's another one that people always go back and forth. I have that one to do. I'm going to do that one next. I don't remember the name of it, but there's a one. There's it, It's this movie and another movie that people always talk about when it comes on to anime movies. Probably the best movies of all time. So I'm definitely going to be checking the other, the other one out. I didn't do much research on this movie because I didn't want to be spoiled about the plot. But I did find out um, from basically by what was happening when I asked about the movie suggestions and stuff like that, that people, people were in the, people were in the sections would be like, your name is the best. Nah, it's this one. So it's like these two movies are definitely competing. So I will be the judge of which one of these is the better one. Okay. But definitely your name as definitely it's up there. It's up there. It's definitely one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life and that is not an exaggeration i'm telling you for sure but anyways guys i love this movie 10 out of 10 for sure and as i said before um when it comes on to to these kind of movies man y'all gotta send me some more uh, stuff like this and i'll watch them i'm taking my time to get through all the suggestions guys i'm gonna try to do one movie every week for you guys maybe even two i'm gonna try to do that as we go along but uh, but as i said the format is going to be that I'm going to upload maybe like 10, maybe 15 minutes of it on YouTube. Um, but just me, just the parts where I stop to talk about stuff and stuff like that. And maybe show like a little snippet of it to put up on YouTube. Okay. So as I said to you guys, um, make sure you support this movie um, by purchasing, you know, the Blu-ray or whatever. Um, and go to that. I might just do a giveaway of that soon. Um, we will see, um, we'll see whenever you guys see this video, which is probably going to be this weekend. Anyways, appreciate you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review of this movie, man. I really love this movie. It was, it, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful movie, man. Um, and I like what they did. The direction, everything was just so on, just, just so good. The direction of the movie, the sound design, the animation was top tier. Everything was just done so well. The voice acting, I forgot to talk about the voice acting. The voice acting was top tier voice acting. My God, they, they did that shit, right? <laughs> my God, they did that shit. Oh my God. I am going on 20 minutes now for this review. And I just, I, it's like, I can't stop talking about it because it's such a good movie. You know what I'm saying? I would recommend this to anybody, my friends, my my family. As a matter of fact, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to send, um, recommend this, this to my sister, my older sister, and tell her to watch this movie. She might think it's a cartoon at first, but I'm going to tell her to watch the movie because she's a sucker for these movies too. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Leave a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this movie the first time you saw it. First of all, you shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> You shouldn't be going to my Google Drive if you haven't watched the show yet, okay? You shouldn't. But it's what it is. It is what it is. Sometimes we, we, we got to do that because these movies, they're not available in North America as soon as they drop. So I do understand sometimes if you got to download shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not advocating for, for, um, for stuff to do wrong or whatever. I'm not advocating for it. But sometimes you got to do whatever you got to do to to enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> I'm just being real, bro. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all. And thank y'all so much, man. And I will catch you guys later. For sure. For sure. Peace.